Now then, so I just finished off, um, updated my uh, World War II British uh, for the Western Desert. Um, plan to use them with chain of command. Um, so I just had to add a couple of extra figures here and there just to uh, bulk out some of the sections and the support weapon teams. Um, so I can use it with that rule set. Um, so what I've done is, um, I'll go through the full force. So at the front there we've got the platoon headquarters. So we have the lieutenant. Then there, what I've done is, on the back of them, I've actually mounted them to another separate base. Uh, just with a bit of um, PVA, so if I change my mind I can just pop them off. Um, so that's the Lieutenant Bambrick, that's the platoon commander. Um, and then I've got myself, Sergeant Kelly. There's my wife, Gobbin. Hang on a second. Okay then, so where was I? So, she so gone back downstairs now. God. Um, yeah, so there's uh, me. That's Sergeant Kelly. Platoon Sergeant. Um, and then I have a two-inch motor team. And a boys anti-tank rifle team. There. Uh, and I also have the platoon radio operator. I don't really need him in chain of command. So I think he'll just follow uh, Lieutenant Bambrick about. Uh, it won't actually count as anything. It's just for looks, really. <laughs> Good Lord. She's so noisy. Anyway, um, then what I've got is three sections. So the first section here is led by Corporal Wilson. There he is, with his SMG. And then two section is led by Corporal Simpson. So one of them is the junior leaders have painted the, the, the kind of sabo base underneath green. Uh, and on the senior leaders it's obviously like an English uniform, Valet of English uniform, brownie colour. Um, and then three section, we've got a couple Hal. Sir. Uh, and then in each section, um, there's a fire team of, sorry, a rifle team of six riflemen and a gun team of one Bren gun, LMG gunner, and another two riflemen with him. For a total of ten men in each section, including the junior leaders. Uh, so that's your that's your basic platoon, and the whole chain of commands based around the platoon. So that's that's my basic platoon there. And then what you get is um, supporting options. Okay, so the first supporting option I've got is a uh, Bren carrier team. So there's a Bren carrier, and um, there's an LMG team in there. Um, an extra rifleman, and that is led by Corporal North. Just there. So these four guys are in the Bren carrier. Second um, supporting option I've got is a two pounder. Recently painted that, paint, finished painting him yesterday. Um, so it's a two pounder gun with five crewmen, um, and that is led by Corporal Hansen. Gosh, it's so noisy. Yeah. And then we've got a Vix machine gun team, five men. Um, and then got a couple of uh, oddments here. So we've got the um, mortar fire controller, Sergeant Shirt. There he is. Um, the battalion medical officer, Major Anderson. Just there. Um, and then I've got this guy that I got from Warlord Games when I got the Bolt Action in British Commonwealth book. Not quite sure what to use him as yet. I'm going to rebase him so he's on the same size base as everyone else. Um, might you use him as the adjutant. Um, doesn't actually come onto the table, but what I'll do is I'll put him at the side of the table to remind me that I've got him. Because uh, I can't think of anything else to use him as at the minute. Um, the next um, supporting option that I've got is the uh, Valentine Mark III, I think. That was that one there. Paint up in the corner scheme. And then I've got a Marmon Herrington Mark III. 
I think that's a Valentine too, actually. And this is a, a Mammon Henderson Mark III with Corporal Smith there sitting in the top having his brew. Uh, and then if I decide to do slightly later in the war, so sort of El Alamein sort of era, I've actually got a six pounder as well. There's four crewmen on there. Uh, and then Corporal Hansen will jump from the two two pounder over to command this instead. So yeah, that's my full force so far for the Brits. And what I have got left to do is, they're all undercoated, is a, um, a three inch mortar team. Um, don't strictly need it in chain of command, the actual model, because they're off table. Uh, but I can use it for bolt action and I'll just put it at the side of the table just for looks uh, for Sergeant Shirt over there to control. Um, so that's all the stuff from a Brit so far. I'll keep adding to it I think, I'll just keep getting odds and ends, maybe a couple of different armoured cars and things like that. Um, and then what's next for the whole project then is the Africa Corps. So I'll be getting all these painted up. There's a full platoon in here. I did a video on them before. 38 figures in that box for £20 from Element Games, I believe. Um, yeah, so that's what's next. Uh, I'm looking forward to having another game of Chain of Command. It's really good. Um, I haven't used my desert troops yet. But we'll see how we get on. Uh, right, thanks very much for watching. Uh, I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye.